welcome back to the Freak Show. XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. It's time. Let's continue, guys and gals. Alrighty. So, in the last episode, Scott Sanderson done got kind of slightly horribly wrecked in a bad, bad way. Not feeling super good right now. Not feeling the love. So, what he's going to do is feel the reload. And we're going to try our very best to get some folks into position to actually do some work. Downside being our sniper boy here, Captain Antros, or Sergeant Antros as it were, doesn't really have Heading there the now. best possible way of maneuvering forward. I've got eyes on advent troops. We do have eyes on advent troops. Oh, but they're like, hey, guess what? You oh notice us now? We're leaving. So what was once okay is now not so great. Ready to engage. Hopefully Kimiera survives. If she does, fantastic. We have a terrible shot this way. I think maybe I will just do a long watch from here. If they decide to come out and attack, maybe we take one down. Couldn't you guys just like smother him? What? Is that an XCOM member? Like what was that? Oh, I would have been so thrilled if he landed that attack. But sadly, he didn't. Oh, he went into Overwatch. That's a rare thing. You don't see that very often. This dude is a mint. Like, we need him. Like, he needs to be in XCOM. Like, right now. He needs to join our forces. 100% for sure. Alright, grenade out. Nice. Overwatch has been removed. Okay, that's what I was actually going for, by the way. I wasn't sure if it would work, but it did. Okay. Going to step forward. Scott Sanderson says, I got this, don't even worry. I may have missed in the past, but I'm still alive right now. And that's all that truly matters. I think we're gonna have to like go here. Affirmative, moving out. And maybe we get line of sight? Nope. So I guess we'll reload Let's at the this. spot. And hope the blind advent soldier keeps missing. Like, what is he doing? There you go. It's hard to miss a melee attack, buddy. Oh, poor guy had to reload. Oh, wait. Oh my god! What? This dude! What? How? Like, I mean, yes, but how? Closing on target position now. You know there's no way you make the shot, Colin. Alright, alright. I, I believe. I believe you got this. He did, too. Holy crap on a cracker. He actually got that shot. On my way. What is even happening right now? Scanning. Alright, Gravedigger. Get on up over here, buddy. Scott Sanderson, man, I don't want to move you at all. I am terrified. Let's go ahead and reload. Uh oh. That's probably not great. The giant nasty ice cream cone man is alive. We heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Yeah, I don't, don't even think about care it. about containment at this point. Alright, buddy. Do it. Do it, you got the Oh no, he missed! His perfect record is ruined! Yeah, I agree. Holy crap, it's got eyes or something. I don't know. Seems bad. Yeah, good shot, Kong. You're bringing, you're bringing it up. You know, you, you you were looking like garbage for a while there, but you're pulling it out. Come on, Kimiera. Get some. Is he dead? Nope. Nope. It is not dead. It is not dead at all. But it might be now. 
J'aime pas ça du tout. Yeah, that's about right. Jetzt komme ich. All right. There's no way you miss this, Andros. I believe, 100% chance, if you miss, Angry Bumpy will be angry. <laughs> the laugh. The laugh. All right, buddy. What you got, friend? Oh, he's almost dead. That is such a bad place to move to. But I suppose I don't have a choice. I'm going for it. Got a scope and a PCS conditioning. If only I knew how to equip those. I've got it. That would be great. Got it covered. Oh, Antrosian. Let's go ahead and reload you. Rock and roll. Rot and roll. Oh, Scott, you are not having a good time, are you, buddy? Eh. All part of the job, I suppose. Dude still doesn't want to move. He's like, ah, I've been shot like eight times. It's fine. No big deal. My, my friend died, too. It's all good. There it is. Hey, we did it. Sweet. Sweet. Good work out there. Alright, Haven Assault. We rescued 11 out of 19. I'll take it. Took us 11 turns to do. Alright. I think this, is, this deserves a mission photo here. 29 combined kills. Judge, jury, executioners. Sure. Let's go. We must never Allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. Their victory today is a minor footnote in history. A small bump on the path of salvation the elders have set forth for us. Alright, let's just appreciate how awesome Scott Sanderson was. He dealt the most damage, made the most attacks, was most under fire, and he did something else. I think he moved the furthest distance. Yep. Squatty Scott Sanderson. Maybe injured in combat, but you get to make a full recovery, friend, and you earned yourself probably a promotion, I would say. I never had any doubts about your capabilities, Commander. Excellent work as always. He's like, I did it! <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. He's gravely wounded, by the way, guys and gals. Oh, there it is. He's gravely wounded. There we go. Alright, good. Good, I like that. All right, you are the new Scott Sanderson for now. Not not literally, but you are. Scott, what'd you get, buddy? Battle medic or combat hacker? I'm gonna go battle medic with you. The combat hacker is gonna be the other guy. So I feel like we need you. We need medical personnel. So you know that that whole thing. All right, and Kimiera sharpshooter. She is the new Antros. All right. Good stuff. Carry on. Okay. I like this. It's good. Uh, rescued civilian. We got loot, I guess. Uh, increasing income in their region. Okay. Got a scope. Increase the amability by five. PCS conditioning plus one HP. Artifacts recovered from this mission site after combat completion. Uh, sectoid corpse, advent stun lancer corpse, advent trooper corpse, and a faceless corpse. Faceless autopsy has been released, or uh, unlocked rather. The stun lancer has been unlocked you as well. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens. Yeah, we have. Today, Commander, impressive work. Thank you. Many innocent lives were saved by your decisive action. On the battlefield today, Commander, you and your troops are to be commended. And what's really good is we done we didn't get done wrecked by the dumb guy, the uh, weird psychopath guy that probably could have killed us all. 
All right, low supplies. Supplies are used to purchase weapons and armor for your soldiers, as well as facilities and upgrades for the Avenger to get more supplies, do a bunch of stuff. It's fine. I know I have low supplies. I know. The Advent propaganda machine is running full steam. We're picking up their transmissions even way out in the middle of nowhere. All right, let's go back to our supply drop. I think we're pretty close to Commander, finishing it we've up. Got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, uh. but we'll have to make the first move. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. That doesn't you seem good. You have made considerable progress oh, okay. against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Thank you. So we stopped one retaliation. Uh, we cre we completed one guerrilla op. And one resistance op, and resistance rumors were investigated, and technology was researched. We're all not too bad. Are a tough group to infiltrate, but we've managed to oh gather boy. intel on their latest actions, and have a rough idea of how close each is to reaching their ultimate goal of locating the Avenger. Huh. A brutal crackdown on the resistance, permanently lowering XCOM's income. That's his planned activity. All right. Well, we're gonna have to make sure that we. Don't Commander, let that happen. We have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Okay, the collectors or stiletto rounds. The Chosen double their efforts to hunt the commanders, seeking to capture XCOM soldiers at every opportunity. Okay. And some Advent soldiers are equipping rounds that cause the bleeding status effect. I guess I should get started on a few more med kits. Chosen are getting more aggressive about taking our people captive. Maybe it's time we restarted our own interrogation program. Um. Um. Oh. We don't actually have to choose anything right now? Oh, okay. Commander, the factions have pledged their support to XCOM, and they're ready to carry out your orders. As our influence with these groups increases, our capabilities will grow in kind. Okay, Commander, each month the Resistance factions can be assigned orders which will provide bonuses to XCOM. As XCOM gains influence with the, the factions, additional orders will become available, and they will be able to complete more orders per month. That's interesting. If you've got something new for us, Commander, my Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. A new resistance order received. Infiltrate. On timed missions, the timer does not begin until the squad has lost concealment. Resistance orders are powerful strategic abilities unique to each faction. Resistance orders can only be activated at the end of each month. Huh. Now, lightning Strike. Units gain plus three mobility for the first two turns of battle while the squad remains concealed. Resistance orders are powerful strategic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Wild card orders. Raise influence through the ring. Uh, until they lost concealment. That's actually pretty good. I see no reason to start the clock until the trap is sprung. Or in the shadows we can move further than you might think. Both of those are pretty legit. I'm going to go with the infiltrate, I think. What's this down here? Okay. Commander, we'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance factions to complete these covert actions. They'll be gone for a few days, but this will help us build influence with the resistance while generating material support. Okay, Commander, the factions can offer us opportunities to advance the resistance around the globe. We'll need to send away some of our troops for a number of days, but we're guaranteed to reap the benefits of our effort when they return. Huh. Okay, there's a lot here. Um, hunt the Chosen Assassin Part 1, Rescue, Squatty, Prattle Mox, Unlock a Mission to Rescue the Captured Soldier, My People Were Born to Hunt, to Track and Pursue Our Prey Undetected. Send a few of your soldiers to help, and I'm sure we'll have no problem figuring out where Ref 2 or Ruffle uh, Ballad Hur took Squatty. Okay. Form a soldier bond. My people tend to work alone, but that doesn't mean they don't know how to make friends. Send your soldiers over and we'll train together. I'm sure they'll come back feeling more confident than ever. Soldier cohesion will meet the next bond threshold. Huh. 
that's cool. And then the Templars. This operation is going to require some field experience, Commander. Monks of the we'll storm. need to send one of our vets to lead the effort. From what we know of them, the Templars have relied on their psionic powers to keep themselves hidden from Advent's prying eyes. They won't be easy to find, but if we send a small team to explain what we're trying to do, maybe they'll see the light. Faction Hero. Add a Faction Hero to XCOM's ranks and gain new resistance orders and covert actions. Basically, we need a sergeant, but we don't have one. Uh, gain additional resistance orders and blah 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 blah. Soldiers. It looks like we're going to have to go with this. Alright, I'm going to roll with that one. Um, boy. We are light on units right now. We are quite light on units. Alright, I guess Kimiera is going to go. And we need to add another soldier into the mix. It looks like it's going to maybe be... Sarah Robinson? I guess? Our influence is low. I, I don't know what's happening, but they're going to be gone for six days. Alright, I'm confirming. Begin. I order my people to get underway immediately. Okay. Commander. The Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Supplies, okay. And where are we at right now? Just as you are driven to free your people from the perceived oppression of the Elders, the burden of honor instilled upon me since my creation drives my service to the gods. Regardless of their intention. Did we get 158 income? How is that not a thing that we have right now? Or we have to go and actually research it. That's what it is. Our research was a success, Commander. Okay, feel free to pause and read, ladies and gentlemen. We got our module, modular weapons upgraded. Commander, researching the Advent modular weapons has allowed us to reverse engineer their system for our own use. Any weapon upgrades found in the field can now be attached directly to our soldiers' weapons to provide tactical bonuses. Cool. Hybrid materials, uh, novel idea related to the hybrid materials. If we begin research immediately, oh good, that was the next thing I was going to do. Commander, given our extensive battlefield experience against the Advent Stun Lancer, can now be completed instantaneously. All right, well I'm going to do the inspired, then we'll do the instant. I will make after. that our highest priority. You do that, friend. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to. Gotta get this finished. We completed our research. That was so fast. Time, Commander. That was so fast. All right, feel free to pause and read once again. A light armor underlay derived from the Advent armor. This vest can now be worn for all XCOM armors to increase soldier health. Okay, we can instantly research the this. The Advent Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. That's probably not great. Although Advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing Pause with any and read. unruly civilians within the city centers, it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. Okay, we can learn the Arc Blade. When pure kinetic energy is no longer sufficient in the field, the arc blade may prove necessary. It boosts the standard sword's combat effectiveness with the addition of an electric field, capable of stunning the enemies that are not killed outright. Well, that's fair. All right, research. Uh, assign research. So plated armor is going to take a bit. We don't have the alien alloys. We can do some of the autopsies. Probably something we should do. Let's do that. I was never witness to one myself. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, 
is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. Super fun times, super strong, super scary sectoids. Okay. Can we get back to doing things that gives us money so we can do other things? Maybe? We need to get to New Mexico, but we need to finish this up first. Okay, we've collected all of it. I sort of want to go to the Distress Beacon as well. Also, let's take a quick glance over here. The factions could use a place to coordinate their operations, Commander. This ring Shen designed sounds like a great candidate for our next construction effort. Alright, it's on my to eventually do list. Cool. Alright, so let's see, do we have anybody that we know that we can recruit? Party Commissar! Welcome to the squad! Read it the McSquigums! Welcome! I'm gonna hand it to the aliens. The invasion was one thing. All their advanced technology. They had to drop on us for sure. But Advent... Alright, so we have some them. new uh, recruits. Let's Even go. Let's view the soldiers. Between the propaganda Kim Jensen's back up and running. Seemingly endless supply of reinforcements. We'll have Charlene members. up and running soon. We'll have Elena out or Alina up and running. We'll have Jane Kelly back. Scott's gonna be out for a bit. Sir Ser Morbidicus will be back up and running as well. And Antros will be down for a bit. But that's okay. It's okay. Alright, feeling pretty good about this. I feel like I created the name. Give me a second, guys, here. One sec. Uh, so we have Redith Mama McSquigums. Okay, that, that's different. That was not what her face looked like at all when she came on board. And let's see what Commissar looks like. There he is. There's the maniac. That's our boy right there, the party Commissar. Okay, we can do weapon upgrades and stuff now, too. I'm a, a pretty big fan of that. Um, let's see what weapon upgrades we can do. Scope and an auto loader. Uh, you get one free reload. The scope increases aim. Yeah, why not? Once weapon upgrade is applied, it cannot be replaced. It can be replaced but not reused. Ooh. No, I don't think I want to. Use oh, that's that's interesting. I don't know if I want to reuse that. It's all right. Uh, enhance the soldier with neural enhancements to give them a boost in battle. Fires the guerrilla tactics school facility, and that's why we don't have the PCS. Okay. All right. It all makes sense. Okay, let's see if we can't get our soldiers up and running, and then we're going to probably break off the episode. Uh, I think we're going to go make contact in New Mexico. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Commander, using intel collected right, so we far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Another important step forward All right, in nice. our research. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Okay, pause and read, folks. Mind Shield. The Mind Shield is a powerful psionic artifact, rendering soldiers completely immune to any negative mental conditions including panic, mind control, stuns, and disorientation. Nice. I would say that it's probably a good idea for us to do the other two no, autopsies. My past surgical experience is limited. I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common Advent Trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Uh-huh. Yeah, we know. They're ugly. They ugly. They ugly. We're low on scientists. Yes, I, I, I'm aware of this. Thank you. Uh, let's go back here. 
Wasn't there a place where we could get we can get scientists from there? We're, we'll come back. Commander, and we'll, we'll need to completely scan this region before we can yeah, yeah, establish contact with the local resistance. I'd rather get the scientists I'd first. We stick around and finish the job, but the choice is yours. Uh, the choice is always mine. Deal with the breads. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Oh, cool. So we were successful. Uh, unlock a mission to rescue him. We did that. We found him just like I expected. Now you just need to send in some of your heavies to pull off the rescue. Gained experience and increased cohesion with Chimera. We got 25 intel. And, yeah, increased cohesion with... Okay. And will is increased by three. Nice. Our friends in the resistance have helped to pinpoint the location of our missing soldier. Okay, we found where Pratal Amox, or Pratal, or Pratal, or Pratal, anyway, uh, is being held by uh, Baladru, Baladzhur. Uh, we should attempt to rescue as soon as possible to return this loyal soldier to the Avenger and to prevent the assassins from extracting any more knowledge about XCOM activities. We're going to ignore it for right now. Sweet. Promotion. Cool. Okay, so let's see if we can't get this done. As a reminder to you, Commander, until you return to your place at the Elder's side, all who would stand with you in defiance will suffer the same. Okay, monthly income in this region has decreased by 16. Chosen knowledge of XCOM operations has increased. Oh boy. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the Chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Okay, something new's happening. It's our buddy. Hello, Commander. Hello. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Yep. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. Huh. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then... It's right there in the middle. It. You see it? Were the go. enemy to succeed in their efforts... I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat. You have a lot of confidence in me. I don't. Wish I had that confidence. The aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. Boy, howdy! Stuff is looking bad. Looking real bad. Okay. Skulljack complete. Access to the alien communications network is highly restricted, requiring several complex biomedical augments before admittance can be granted. Skulljack allows us to hack into the network by temporarily resting control of the of a being's augments through any access gained is to is sure to be short lived. One skulljack has been added to the inventory. Skull mining. As if the skulljack itself wasn't invasive enough. Tygen has conceived of a more thorough means of extracting information from Advent Soldier's chips. This new skull mining technique could, could lead to new intel gains from our enemies, and could even grant access to hidden alien facilities for the purpose of sabotage. I can also upgrade our skulljacks to significantly enhance the hacking ability of any soldier carrying one. Well, that all sounds like a really, really interesting stuff, but a tale for another time. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's hope that we're going to be okay. I would like to take a check here at our uh, troops. Once again, 
and it looks like just about everyone is available at this point so good times Antra is still a bit tired he's probably available if absolutely needed and Sarah Robinson has earned herself a promotion let's see what she's actually gained she is a specialist alright so there we have it folks there we have it anyway I hope you guys enjoyed up to this point and you will enjoy further along as we go, it looks like we have quite a few things still to do, but I'm getting there. I'm learning the new stuff and getting back into the hang and back into the swing of things. Hopefully you guys, well, stick around and I will see you in the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show and I will see you later.